Fun. MTV starts now! Five, four, three, two. Good morning, Marauders. I'm Sierra. And I'm Sophia. What if there was a sport where you could play soccer and swim at the same time? You mean water polo? Oh, right. Let's learn about Parker <laughs> Kine, one of Menachi's water polo players. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, three. Mic check. My name is Parker Cotton, and I do water polo, wrestling, swim, MCTA, and Skills USA. Water polo and wrestling are both pretty hard, but I would say that wrestling has a bit harder practices than water polo, but water polo does have a very welcoming community, and I believe that it is a little bit more welcoming than wrestling. My best advice for you if you're going to join a sport is to turn in your physical on time and be ready for the physical demand that sports have on you, because some people aren't ready for that, and they get a pretty big shock and they end up quitting, and we don't want that. <laughs> My best advice for joining a pathway is to start early and try and join it somewhere in your freshman year, because if you join at any other time, uh, people will be ahead of you in your pathway. And also, make that decision, and if you're going to join a pathway, make sure you think that decision through, and make sure you choose a pathway that suits your interests best. There are many things you can do in Skills USA, but this year I will be joining Skills USA for woodworking. And for woodworking, we have na uh, regionals, nationals, and uh, state. And in each competition, you do different cabinets. And each cabinet is more uh, intricate than the last. And so it gets harder and harder as you go through and I'm trying to go all the way to nationals and beat Ethan Attenborough who got sixth in nationals last year. I believe that joining Skills USA is very very big um, opportunity but it's also a very big decision because there's a lot that goes into training for and doing Skills USA but if you do go to Skills USA I believe it benefits you as a as whatever uh, profession you want to go into it will benefit you a lot and last year when I went I learned so much and I believe that everyone can learn a lot as well wait so it's not called water soccer no it's called water polo oh let's check out the sports report with Yvette good morning Marauders this week's sports are JV and varsity girls tennis versus Redwood and freshman football also versus Redwood tomorrow. On Friday, we have junior varsity and varsity football versus Redwood at Rankin Stadium. And next Tuesday, we have all girls volleyball versus Redwood. It's also their senior night. Good luck, Marauders. Now back to the studio. Do you have a favorite teacher? Mm, perchance. Let's check out the segment on our teachers. <laughs> Am I talking yet? All right, so it's recording? So I go now, right? All right, why do I love my subject? Well, let's see, when I was a wee little lad, a little wee little lad, my dad was a retired colonel in the United States Army. So him and I used to travel around the United States in his car, just me and him. And we would visit uh, all sorts of Army bases, all sorts of historical sites. Um, when you're a little kid, um, it's pretty cool when you pull up to an army base and they see the sticker on the car and they realize that your dad's a colonel and they s 
snap to attention. You know, when you're a little kid, it's pretty cool. Um, the other reason I like teaching history, and this is going to sound really weird, but I can tell you almost anything about the Beatles. Um, you know, I've researched Beatles, the history of the Beatles, and everything about them. So between my father being in the military and music, uh, that's why I love my subject. Danke schön. Auf Wiedersehen. What I like about the, uh, oh, cut, cut. <laughs> What I like about teaching my subject is that I get to show kids uh, real life applications of math, especially in integrated math one with the freshmen. Uh, my favorite part about teaching is actually, I teach art, but art is not my favorite thing. It's the students. Students are my favorite thing. You know, some students are difficult, some are really easy, but learning who they are, what they're from, maybe even helping them, encouraging them. Um, to me, having trying to have a positive impact on these kids, that's what I love. I love teaching. I just happen to be really good at art, so I became an art teacher. But uh, it's the kids that make my job really fun. I like teaching earth science because I like to see my kids make connections between um, themselves and the world around them and understanding how the natural phenomenon of the earth have changed the earth to be the way it is now and continue to change it into the future. The weather's been really weird recently. Speaking of weird, let's check out the weather report with Omar. Good morning, Marauders. It's going to be cooling down just a tad with weather in the low 90s and the high 80s. So make sure you wear those flip-flops one last time and let the piggies out before it's too cold. And you know what? I'm just tired of being just the weatherman, you know? It's always 90 degrees anyway. I feel like there's something bigger for me out there, you know? Like I can make a name for myself. I'm going to be an anchor on MTV. I'm going to be an anchor. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Well, that's all we have for you today, Marauders. I'm Sierra. I'm Sophia. And, and we're, we're signing... Get out! Get out! Get out! We're the new anchors! Oh god, lungs on fire. Uh, uh. Ow, crap, I hate this. Running is terrible, everything is the worst. Oh my god. Here are this week's sports wins. Varsity's football BL Damonte 37 to 2, 5 and 1 overall, 1 and 0 in league. Varsity's girls tennis B Golden West 9 to 0. Varsity's girls tennis B Vars PHS 5 to 4. JV's girls tennis B Golden West 5 to 0. JV's girls tennis beat PHS 3 to 2. Boys Cross Crunchy won the Golden West Interventional 28 to 32 versus Redwood. Albert Andrade won the race. Girls Cross Country won the medium sized school in division at the Golden West Interventional 49 to 79 versus Golden West. Yasmin Lechin won the race.